Hi guys, it's Roya, and I've got some exciting news. Tonight at midnight is the beginning of Booktubeathon. It's gonna be my first time ever participating in Booktubeathon because I've only been on Booktube for like six months or something. Anyway, I will link the uh, the Booktubeathon channel and the Booktubeathon Booktube Twitter and Instagram down below um, because it's going to be really awesome and you should follow them for more announcements and whatnot. These are the official Booktubeathon reading challenges and the, I'm going to tell you what books I I'm going to be reading for each one. Um, these are all challenges that um, you don't have to do all of them if you don't want to. You can just do as many as you want to. Um, I'm sure as hell going to try to do all of them. Um, I'm really doubting that I can. Like, I really don't know if I can read a book every day for seven consecutive days, no matter how fast I read. For a book with blue on the cover, I'm choosing Ariel by Stephen R. Boyett. Um, this is very blue. Um, this um, For this challenge, you can pick a book with any amount of blue on the cover at all. It doesn't really matter. This reading challenge is a book by an author who shares the same first letter as your last name. And again, I'm going to pick this one because um, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to pick um, more, than, like, more than one challenge for the same book and have the same book count. I couldn't find any um, last na any authors on my shelf whose last names start with H, but my actual family name starts with a B, and there are plenty of Bs on my list, so I picked this one. The next challenge is um, someone else's favorite book. Now, I have a few options for this. I asked some friends and followers what their all-time favorite books are, and um, I've got three different options, and I'm pretty much just gonna go to the library and see which of these I can get the most easily. Options are as following, um, Bridge of Birds by Barry Hugart, Red Mars by Kim Stanley Robinson, and Illusions, The Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah by Richard Bach. If you have an opinion on which one of those I should read, if you've read them and if you liked them and whatever, just share your opinions down below in the comments because I would like to know. The next challenge is the last book you acquired. And I just got this wonderful copy of Paper Towns yesterday. This is by John Green, but I guess there's a price tag in front of his name. Um, I seriously just grabbed this yesterday when I was shopping for... Um, some q-tips and things and I just went oh paper towns and I just grabbed it right off the shelf um and so this is this just got made into a movie um I obviously want to read this before I um see the movie and this is only going to be my second John Green book so it's about time I read another John Green book don't you think um finish a book without letting go of it I pick uh this one um, Psyche in a Dress by Francesca Leah Block, and I actually, this is actually my TBR challenge for this month as well. I drew, I drew it out of the TBR Pokeball in my last video. Um, this is a really short book. I'm pretty sure I can read this in one go. Block's last name also starts with a B, so if I, um, I could make this count for that challenge as well if I don't get to Ariel for some reason. Um, it also does technically have blue on the cover, but it's um, it's on the spine, so I'm not sure if that counts. But um, also if I don't get to Ariel for some reason, I could make this, this book count for all three of those challenges um, if I wanted to. So I'm going to read this one first, obviously. Um, because not only did I draw it out of the TBR Pokeball, but it could count for three challenges if I needed it to. Next is um, a book you really want to read. Now, all of those books are ones I really want to read, obviously, but I think I picked this one for that because um, I wanted to get to this book in the past month, but just somehow that didn't end up happening. Um, cause I had so many books to read and people kept lending me books and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to try to read this book for that challenge. And if it doesn't happen, that's okay because all those books are ones I want to read. And finally, the last challenge is read seven books all together. The goal is, you know, a book every day for a whole week. And I'm sure as hell gonna try, but I don't know how well it's gonna go. So we're gonna have to see. 
I will be sure to post some videos about um, the books that I've read so far in the challenge once it starts. Um, if I do actually end up reading all of those books and have it be seven all together, I will sure let you know. If you want to participate in the reading challenge, all those links I talked about are down below. Um, so please uh, check them out and um, I will have another video up soon. Bye!